Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I have no idea when or if this video is gonna go online, but today is the 29th of March. If you know me and my channel, I make DIY videos sometimes and I made this one video in which I made a cherry necklace DIY, which was really fun. I actually really loved it and I thought how fun would it be to sell my own jewelry. First thing that came to mind is just to try and sell it on Etsy or something like that. That is kind of what this video is about, I guess. <laughs> I've already made a bunch of different stuff. Right now I'm kind of experimenting with the kind of designs that I like, what kind of jewelry do I want to make and sell for the rest. I have no name yet. I have ideas. My own necklaces that I've worn, my hair gets stuck in it a lot and that is really annoying. I'm gonna have to try and get better at that. I still have to buy like the shipping packaging and stuff like that. I still want to try and make some designs. I do think I want to have the option like you can buy just a necklace, just a bracelet or necklace and bracelet together. That's kind of everything that I'm thinking about right now. I don't know if it's something that I'm gonna keep doing, but I thought it'd be fun to try out. I'm really a person that likes to try out new things. Soon I'm gonna buy more stuff, probably today. I will see you later. Hi everybody, this is just a quick update. I got my AliExpress package in. I ordered so much, oh hi. I ordered so much, you have no idea. I also ordered some stuff for my room. Oh my God, oh my God, okay. <laughs> I just bought everything last Wednesday and it's Friday now. It's actually smaller than I thought. <gasps> <laughs> These are thank you cards. They're so cute. Ooh. These are like those kind of pearl thingies. I think I could have gone for a size bigger, but I like this. We have more pastel beads. I already had these, but I had to order more. More colored letters. Oh my god, yes. These are so gorgeous. Look at this color. Oh my god, I had to have them. Ooh. Okay, so <laughs> I wanted something to send the jewelry in, so I thought I'd get these little bags and like do it like this. I love that. <laughs> oh my god, this color is so pretty. I want two of these. I love that color. I ordered tons of white, three of kind of a peachy orange-ish. I have some pink and I also got two blue. I'm missing something. I didn't get my shells. No! That was what I was kind of looking forward to the most. It says it's in the combined delivery, but it's not in here. I'm sad now. <laughs> I can give you a really quick update. I don't have that much time. I've thought about a name. There's one thing I can come up with. I was thinking about, well, this. But at first I pronounced it as heavily store. But at some point I was realizing, yeah, but Haven, I'm pretty sure is also a word. So I think technically you'd pronounce it as Haven, Havily. I also put it in Google Translate and it pronounced it as Havily. So I don't know, but still I like the look of the word. Just not sure if I should pronounce it as heavily or Havily. So I think that's just what I'm going to go for because I don't know what else. Just comment down below. Do you think it should be pronounced as heavily or Havily? I'm coming around on the designs that that I want to start with putting online first. I'm wearing one of them right now. This is just one of my favorites for real. It's so cute. I think I want to try them with different colors as well so people have a choice in colors. I don't know what colors yet, but I think with everything, I just want to make a bracelet as well so people have the option to go for a bracelet, a necklace, or the combo, you know, because I think that a combo is so cute. I love this one so much. This is another one that I made. And of course, this red heart necklace thing, I also really want to include. That is kind of where I'm at right now. So I made a lot of progress. That's it for now. I will see you soon again. Bye. Hello, everybody. A little update time. I've been working on like a logo and kind of a theme for my Instagram and everything. So I thought I'd show you. At first, I started out with something like this. I thought like an H, you know, from Haverly. Then I got the idea of doing actually like my full name, something like this. I made this. Wow, it really blends in with my background like this. Oh crap, no. Oh. 
Also, what I wanted to look at is like creating an Etsy store. I don't know how to do that. Sell on Etsy, okay. Millions of shoppers can't wait to see what you have in store. <laughs> <laughs> shop language yeah it's gonna be english shop country the netherlands shop currency euro which of these best describes you selling is my full-time job i sell part-time but hope to sell full-time i sell part-time and that's how i like it that's a good question i don't know i have like no expectations for this enter your shop name Havily store oh without spaces check availability no, it's not available. People thought of this. Are you kidding me? That sucks. Heavily store designs, heavily store goods, heavily store art, heavily store co. I just wanted to be heavily store, but I guess for this, I could do heavily store co. Yeah, let's do that. Stock your shop. I don't have anything yet. Create at least one listing to continue opening your shop. Can't do this yet. That sucks. But we made progress. I will see you soon. My little tripod broke, so this is not easy, but okay. Wow, it's been a while. I don't even know how long it's been. It's May 12 right now. I have no idea when I saw you last, but okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've been sick. And every time I cough, my ribs hurt. Does that make sense? I think, wait. <laughs> I believe last time I saw you, I unpacked my AliExpress packages. When I opened up the packages, the shells were missing, so I ordered new ones. I did get them this time. They're just small and cute. I really, really like them. I haven't made anything with it yet. I've been sick, so I haven't made anything in a while, but okay. Recently, I took some photos of two of the jewelry sets. I decided to just put those two online. I'm gonna start with these two. I don't think I've showed you these yet. I recently made a video in which I showed you how to make necklaces like these. These. and I made this one it has different colored smileys I also made a bracelet with it it just has one smiley in the middle I really like it as well option two is gonna be the necklace with the red hearts this is the first necklace that I made I really really like it and of course with the bracelet this one has three hearts on it those are the two items I'm gonna start with I'm gonna be putting those on my Etsy store tomorrow oh my god I didn't even show you my new profile picture I got it I actually wanted to make something my own. So I went to procreate on my iPad and I made the logo. I'm so so happy with how it turned out. I really like the style of it and I'm very happy that I'm actually able to do that. <laughs> I've been working on different options. I have the store update and everything. This morning I just started looking on Etsy and I thought I'd maybe upload the pictures already for the first necklace and bracelet and then I started looking what else you could fill in it's a lot <laughs> okay so i put up some pictures i just have some simple pictures tomorrow morning i actually want to go outside and make some photos outside of the necklace a title i looked at different necklaces and what i see a lot is just putting in as much keywords as you can so i'm not sure but i did beaded necklace and bracelet with smileys aesthetic necklace and bracelet customizable beaded necklace then who made it i did a member of my shop or another company or person well i did it's a finished product you can also say it's a supply or tool to make things which it's not and then when it's made but it's going to be made to order i don't have any doubles right now then there was a category but i have a bracelet and necklace but i can't choose that there's not a category for that so i just did beaded necklaces since there's a necklace in the picture i think that's my best guess you could choose the bead material recycled no probably not then the primary color is white the secondary color is optional then a necklace length i still have to measure that but i don't know if this is with or without the extension the closure i believe it's a lobster claw i don't know what else it is holiday no then type physical digital you can make up 13 tags which i did materials i use elastic string glass Normally you can just put in the price right here, but because I have different options, there are different prices. I think this is kind of hard how much I have available because I don't know really how to decide that. Basically, here are the shipping costs. I have a bunch of countries right here. Turkey is six euros, but Germany is then 465. If you do like United States, it's 10 euro 30. So that is a lot. It's such a big difference. But I was also thinking that maybe for some countries it could be free and for some countries the price could just be higher 
here and the shipping costs not a lot if it's not available for your country just reach out to me and i will add it to the list and that is it <laughs> Let's see what else we have to fill out. I have no idea. Add a few more listings. Yes, yes. I'll do that later. How I get paid. For tax purposes, what type of seller are you? I am just alone, so I'm just gonna go with that. I'm just gonna skip this. You don't have to know where I live. Verify your identification. Set up billing. What am I doing? Keep your shop extra safe. Set up two-factor authentication. It says here, open your shop. I don't want to do it yet. We're gonna be doing that tomorrow. Probably change the prices, add some photos, add some information information to it and then we're also gonna put the other set of jewelry on it how exciting <laughs> i will see you tomorrow Okay, so it's the next day. I just wanted to be like the cover photo, I think. I also have to take photos of the smileys. These are the smileys. I ordered more, like I said. They should come in today. That is a lot of colors. I'm just thinking because there's an option that you can have like something personalized where you could like type in a name if you have letters, for example. What if I could give the option that you could like choose a color combination and people could say like, I want yellow, orange or red. I want to see if that's possible. Necklace length. Yes, right. The necklace is 29 and a half centimeters long. I just got a package. These are the envelopes I'm gonna be sending the packages in. Oh, they're really small. I didn't expect that. Oh, it's good enough. It doesn't have to be big anyways. They have bubble plastic inside just for a little protection. I believe there are a hundred in here. It was so incredibly cheap. It was like 10 euros for this whole box. I figured out the pricing. So I Then basically everything is done, but then I saw this customs information. This info may be required on custom forms for international shipments. Requirements may vary based on the carrier and the shipping destination, for example. So I looked into it and you definitely should have it especially if you're shipping from European Union. And you think, okay, not so bad. But the thing is, there's like a different code for different products, but I just cannot seem to find it. I found this, but I'm just not sure what to choose. Because the thing is, I have beads on my jewelry. It's not just a silver necklace. I don't know what to choose, but I can find anything else in this, but I don't even know if this is like the correct code. It's so incredibly confusing. I don't get it. If I don't, then there's a big chance that my packages will be delayed or they will be sent back to me and I don't want that. Okay, thank God I found an article for someone who uses glass beads. She is using the code 711320. This person also says, I'm a bit shocked at how difficult it is to find tariff numbers and how little support Etsy is offering. I agree. Why is this so hard? It's not good. This is a very different code. Maybe because it's 2022 now. Is this good? It's fine. I'm gonna go with this. It's jewelry. It should be fine, right? I think we did it. <laughs> oh, I want to preview it. Yes. Wow, this is it. Add more listings. Let's do that as well. Save and continue. I can open my shop. Oh my God, you guys. I still have to film that for Instagram. <laughs> that is, that is sad. Continue to open shop. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't have a logo. <laughs> How's it look? Good, I guess. Oh, that looks so cute. <laughs> How's it look? <laughs> Not good. <laughs> there we go. I don't have a banner. I didn't know that was a thing. I did it. 
I did it. I actually put up the store. I think by the time you're watching this, this one will be up as well. And I do want to upload new jewelry from time to time. So definitely go check it out. <laughs> if you are also starting your Etsy shop and that's why you're watching this, you're doing really great. Leave your Etsy store down in the comments so we can all support each other. I think that was it for this video. I can't believe I actually finished this video. I hope you liked this video and maybe this video was helpful. If it was, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to become a part of the family. And I hope I will see you in my next video. Bye!